I think it's sometimes for, for people who are in a position of authority, uh, especially like high up like that, they don't even realize that the, the surroundings will kind of yield to them. They don't even understand that the people who are surrounding them will kind of almost be like the, the same, um, have the same opinion. And you will also, of course, like bring people who have the same opinion in your, li in your life. Like that's quite natural process. But they don't necessarily get like ever properly questioned. Even though it's the craziest thing that he is kind of, uh, or if you watch him, he is questioning so many things. He is like trying to ponder so many things. But some, sometimes we are like the most blind to ourselves. And, it, you know, it's very hard to. Yeah, there's like a saying like we, we, like we question all of our beliefs, but not the beliefs that we truly believe in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what happens. And it, I, I mean, I'm not immune to no one is, but at this level, you know, it's just the. Uh, because I'm trying to like think of what, what is what is really behind all, all sort of thing. Like why hasn't he, I mean, he's going, he's doing his meditations and yoga and floating tanks and the psychedelics Psychedelic. and everything, you know, but that just shows that the answer, the answer is not there or, or what a, yeah, why, actually, you know. Like fundamentally he and this paradigm has no respect for the body. It has no respect for the nature because like even if you look at his like training like uh, i feel so crap i feel so bad like my body is a mess but i still went 10 rounds of really hard and so on and sometimes this mentality is good because you cannot be like uh, i don't feel so good so now i'm going to sleep all day so of course you need consistency in your life but but this joe rogan mentality which is also the low louis simmons mentality who just dashed away who was also like completely destroyed from like head to toe, like every joint in his body almost. But this mentality that you don't really respect the body at all. Like you just decide something and then you do what needs to be done. But what happens is that you are just gonna destroy yourself further and further because maybe, because sometimes you have to listen to the body and the, and, and you, you have to be in a really good partnership with your body and you have to be in a really good like uh, communication with your body and connection with your body and and the problem with this is that when you're using lots of drugs when you use lots of substances you you feel so, like something like maybe some sensory like reception and so on like you smell things very well and so on but you are actually like like Eros said you are masking the body and you are masking the, 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 like the, what, what is it called? Like the, what the body is trying to tell symptoms you. Symptoms or? No, not symptoms, but you're masking like Signals. everything from the body. Like you're yeah. not, you are not in tune with the body when you use lots of stuff. You are only in perfect in tune with your body when you have removed everything from your body. Then you are in, in tune. But when you use lots of substance, you don't even, like I remember Mike Tyson when he used to compete, like he was like a absolute killer. But when he retired, he said that he like he didn't even know how much in pain his body was. Like he didn't even understand because when he was training, he was all the time like pushing, like training hard and of course using lots of stuff. So when he stopped using all the stuff and he stopped training, he only after that he realized like oh my body is like completely destroyed. And and that's not that's not the right path to take. Like what we have discovered is the right path and the best path is that when you're in tune with your body, when you work with the body, when you respect the body, then you can move forward and do it very well and very fast, but without hurting yourself in the process.